Jackie for Deck is the very best way to remote play our PS5 console to the awesome Steam Deck OLED. And I just wanted to do this quick update vid since my last Jackie for Deck 1.5 tutorial to highlight 9 awesome new features introduced in versions 1.6 over these last few months. Plus with the Accio community layout I highly recommended in that vid no longer being available, let's answer the question of what's the very best Jackie for Deck layout to use for 2024. So let's dive straight in and as we know updating Jackie for Deck to these very latest 1.6 updates is so easy in desktop mode on the Steam Deck OLED through the update section in the Discover app. Once Jackie has fully updated we can close down Discover and launch back into game mode. So the huge 1.6.0 update launched January 16th and there's two key features that are especially awesome here. The first is a new touch friendly and semi-controllable navigable GUI and so now being able to simply press on the touchscreen to launch actions is a very welcome addition. The second is now the ability to resume connection from sleep mode on the Steam Deck. So now when we wake up our Steam Deck OLED from having a break, we'll now launch straight back into our PS5 remote play session, which is awesome. A final honourable mention in 1.6.0 is that there's now been an audio switch to SDL, which fixes audio lag building up over the session. So if you do longer gaming sessions, there now hopefully shouldn't be any audio lag building up. Again, nice. 1.6.1 was released just a day later on January 17th with two key highlights. The first is that this fixed console registration that I know a few of us gamers were having on the old 1.5 version of Jackie for Debt, so this should now be rectified. And the second is that this update added the option to sleep the PS5 console when sleeping the Steam Deck as well. And to find this, head into settings, stay in the first general tab, and this new option appears called Action on Suspend. And I now do select this new option of putting the PS5 console into sleep mode, as I just find that it all just glitches out when I suspend my Steam Deck OLED, but not the PS5 console at the same time. 1.6.2 was released 5 days later on January 22nd with general improvements like fixing frame pace and regression, correct stretch and zoom when we press both the thumbsticks R1 and L1 all together while remote playing it then pressing either stretch or the zoom buttons and finally it stops freezing and crashing on close on windows which is especially useful for all of our awesome RG Ally and Legion Go Checky for Deck users. 1.6.3 was a pretty hefty release that came out on February 3rd and let's highlight three of these features. The first is a trade-off minor image artifacts that should result for smoother streams which is always very welcome. The second is that this now adds PS5 rumble supports for controllers other than the DualSense and the Steam Deck. So this is great if you use Checky for Deck with third party controllers or a Switch or Xbox controller for example. And finally, it adds an alternate option of using flip screen games for our PSN login within Chucky for Deck itself, instead of going to a separate web browser to do this. And we find this by heading into settings, then into consoles tab, click register new, click this new PSN login button, and voila, we can now register our PS5 console within Chucky for Deck. And finally, 1.6.4 that came out just yesterday at the time of recording this with some nice tweaks and let's just highlight one which is now a new window type option in settings to full screen stretch and zoom. So now when we head into settings, then into the video tab, we now have this new option called window type and we can choose from full screen, zoom or stretch. Now I really don't like stretch as it warps the game somewhat, but I do love the zoom as although it kind of crops the image somewhat, it does make the games more immersive. So with us now fully up to date on the 1.6 versions of Chiaki for Deck, it's now time to find the very best community controller layout for 2024. So in Jackie for Deck, let's press the Steam button, go to controller settings, then again at the bottom, head on over to the community layouts, press X to show all of the community layouts, and yes for some reason the awesome Accio layout I featured in the 1.5 tutorial before Christmas is not here for some reason. And this is one of the biggest questions I get asked all the time like by one of our great viewers, Trimmy Canaby. 
Let's scroll down and the one for 2024 I now highly recommend is by VV Waltz called Chiaki 4 Deck. So let's click on it, press X to apply it, and this is exactly the same as that awesome Accio one, as now the left touchpad is the PS button, the right touchpad is the DualSense touch bar to bring up maps for example, the Ray R4 is the zoom which I love and use all the time, R5 is the stretch which I'm not a fan of, L5 is the mic on and off toggle switch, and L4 ends our session. Hey, if you found this helpful then hitting those like and subscribe buttons massively helps the channel and keeps you fully up to date with the very latest Steam Deck OLED content. You guys are awesome. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all these fantastic 1.6 Checky for Deck updates, so let us know your favourites down below in the comments. And as a thank you for watching right to the end of the video, I'd love to share this awesome quote. I still have a long way to go, but I'm already so far from where I used to be and I'm proud of that. You know what? We may not be where we want to be in life, but we've all come so far from where we used to be and all those things that held us back. So stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you want to know how to customize your Steam Deck OLED theme to this awesome one that I use all the time right here. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.